Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be interesting. So, for some of you may know that my foundation brush techniques is shocking. Therefore, I don't really apply my foundations with a brush, but always with a sponge. But I recently watched Wayne Goss video in April that he teaches you how to use a foundation brush to apply the foundation in 4K. So I am very, very intrigued to follow his steps and to see whether it would work for somebody like me that, you know, just a normal person who's not a makeup artist and who's bad with foundation brush techniques. So, and also today is a like try on first impression on Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. This is just one of the samples they sent over. So um going to try out as well. So if you're interested in today's video then keep on watching. I primed my face and uh, done my eyebrows. That's it. So that's going to try. On Wayne's video is very simple steps. You use any foundations you like pretty much but he used a liquid foundation in that video so I am going to use Tom Ford this one I want I see this is still quite uh, you know liquid and the color they sent on the sample is um, uh, ivory silk I, I don't know how the color going to pan out on my face I think it's going to be okay so the key points he said was don't use too much foundation you only use your finger to tap on the foundation of your hand and only apply small dots onto your face I think he only put three dots on his face but his face is small in comparison of mine so I can't use that small amount. Basically, he says the small amount goes a long way. So don't try to dip your brush into your foundation right away, then apply on your face. That will easily get cakey. And also, let's put the hair up. That would help in it. So um, today, let's try. So I just dotted like half a mount of I normally would. I'm going to do half face and then just to compare the other half. The foundation brush I'm using is the It Cosmetics Heart Shaped Foundation. So he said just uh, doing the circle motion, buff it out with small amount onto your face. Every time I use foundation brush, I think he got the key points that you only apply a small amount, not a lot in one go. I think I probably applied too much every time. So I always feel it gets very cakey. It's not as uh, smooth or melt into skin that well compared to using a sponge instead. So I very, very rarely apply foundation with the brush then he said then he said when you feel uh, it's enough keep buffing to really work the foundation into your skin and he said it's instantly dry as well therefore you won't get the sticky face my arm is so yeah, lacking of exercise at the same time, but I am keep buffing. Uh, then we do a close up. I quite like Tom for this foundation. I think, I think the color works on mine very well. It is uh, well. I only applied a very small amount, therefore, I think the coverage is so far with that amount is like sheer coverage. It's very light. My arm is very sore. Mm. I zoom you guys in. 
the result. Is I didn't use any concealer whatsoever. The result compared to this side. Let's talk about the foundation later, but just have a look. The result by using the brush. There is no brush mark on the face whatsoever. And I think the extra buffing really, really helped that letting the foundation melt into your skin. The result is literally like you use a sponge. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Oh my God, I never had this result whatsoever. I think it's too much, but anyway. And then he said, then you check out your face to see where you think you need a little bit higher coverage than just dot your foundation around again. Obviously we don't have a concealer, so we're going to put the area that I normally would put a little bit of concealer. And then he said, just gently buff it out. Exactly the same technique. I really like Wayne's. I really like watching his video. He's the type of person that, you know, not teach you a very complicated makeup techniques that you will feel, oh, there is no way that you will be able to achieve that. Um, he's making a lot of nice makeup techniques into a very simple steps and really effective. I'm actually confused. Do I actually like the foundation more or actually this techniques really actually worked on my face? I think it's both. The Tom Ford's foundation, I think I would definitely buy a bottle. Can you guys see the difference? There is no brush marks in there, leaves the foundation very, very natural finish. Although this Tom Ford's one is saying is a matte finish, but it's not like a cakey matte. So it's not like you're wearing a mask, it's literally still kept the um, your natural skin glow on, on it. So it looks real, looks like a real skin. Let's finish the other half. I can't believe this brush techniques is this simple, literally this simple. And make difference hugely like that because I think my key challenge that all I did wrong before with brush is I used too much foundation and you know I seen a lot of youtubers just dip the foundation into it and you know apply it on the face it seems gets very smooth and also high coverage but I think he was right. Wayne was right that, you know, you shouldn't be doing that for, obviously, everyone has different skin, uh, skin types, skin conditions. If your skin are, you know, spotless, flawless itself already, yes, by all means, you know, it doesn't matter how you apply your face, it's pretty much going to look good anyway, but especially if, oh, my arm is sore. I never, bl I never buffing you know, the foundation this much onto the face, but I can see why. It, the actual buffing is really helped the foundation melt into your skin. And he did say, make sure it's, you know, light-handed, you not really go into it, you literally just keep buffing. Oh, I think that's maybe too much, but anyway. You know, next time I, I'm going to try with a different foundation brush. If it give me a same result, I need to move a hand, but, but I got foundation on this hand. And, oh, my arm is sore. That's probably another reason that why I don't buff my foundation that much. 
are not supposed to be one of the key techniques. <laughs> hmm. Keep buffing. He was saying in that video that when you feel, oh, it may be enough, keep doing. It's because he did mention in his video that because you're doing this motion and you use brush, so it doesn't matter how soft the brush is, it's still going to be like a exfoliation motion that you're doing on your face. So if you do have that skin stuff, it's better to clean it in advance. But I, with this brush, I do have a little bit of troubles around my nose area. I think my nose is the most trouble area I normally have. I don't know whether you guys can actually see. Let me show you. Yeah, it, it can't get even into the lines. It doesn't matter how much I've done this, you know, buffing motion. It's, uh, I think, exfoliate a little bit, dry skin out on my nose. So it's not sinking, it's not melting well in that particular area and on tip of my nose you you probably can see it's more like make the foundation just sink into the pores rather than uh, melt it out i think tip of my nose always having that problem um i will always need a, a blender to actually make it smooth so let's see if a blender would resolve the problem. I forgot to wet it in advance so I just sprayed the setting spray on it. Let's see. Would resolve it? Yeah, I think with um, a sponge it certainly helped the situation. I can rub the foundation in better. Oh, way much better. This is the motion that I find work for my nose tip. So if you same as me, have pores, visible pores on your nose and surround your nose area, you do this circle with, with a wet sponge, then you do this circle motion. It really helps the foundation melt in better. Ah, let me show you. Can you now see the nose in this area? It's melting much better. So let me finish the rest of face, then I'll be right back. I've decided to put my hair up as I'm going to pick up my little monkey from my uh, grandma's place. My mom took her uh, to there just for uh, seeing my grandma. I'm going to pick her up. It's always easier with kids. It's always easier to have hair up, to be honest. So I've just checked my foundation, the nose bit. That's the only downside, but that being sorted out by the wet sponge. To summarize, I think Wayne is absolutely correct that when you use brush to apply the foundations, it's always better to start with a very small amount than buffing it out. And again, the extra buffing time you spend on there is better to help foundation melt into your skin. And today, to be honest, it is the first time that I've used this small amount of foundation and gave me a pretty much a flawless finish. I am very, very impressed with this technique. It just sounds so common sense and easy, but why I've never done that and why I didn't do that before, that's a wonder. But again, like today, uh, if you want to apply brushes always, as Wing says, bear that in mind, it's going to be an exfoliation uh, motions that are going to happen on your face. So dead skins, if you're very dry skin, you've got to be careful. Like what happened to my nose today was a little bit dry skin over here. So when I was buffing it out, it just kind of peeled up the, the dry skin. Therefore, it looks very patchy down here. But you can fix it with sponge. But overall, I am very, very much liking today's foundation's finish. When I did brush myself, I never ever achieved this type of outcome. 
And that finished the today's video. <laughs> Hope you like it. And uh, if you haven't tried this type of technique, do do it at home and uh, leave your comments down below if it also worked for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next video.